about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see the world in action What we can be Hello and welcome to Cruise Travel and Explore with Stickman Steve. Thanks for joining me today. Today is day 10 of our Marilla uh, cruise and today we are going to Valletta in Malta and we have uh, a two week excursion booked which I'll show you some of that uh, that we did uh, later on in the, uh, in the vlog. So just sit back, relax. I'm going to take you around the coffee port and uh, the squid and anchor. Now the coffee port on deck seven was one of our favorite places. We spent uh, every morning here getting a double espresso. Now, if you're on the premium all-inclusive, uh, your coffees, pops, etc., will be included in the coffee port, exception of a couple of items. Uh, behind the counter now, uh, which you've seen, there's a selection of uh, cookies and little cakes. Uh, those are not included, even if you're on the premium all-inclusive, there's an additional charge for those. I can't remember how much they were, it might be about 150 250 per cake but your coffees juices all included there Uh, just a quick reminder for those if this is your first vlog you've watched of mine I've created a Facebook group called Cruise Travel and Explore if you go over there and join within that group I've uploaded the PDF files of the restaurants uh, and also the bars as well so you'll be able to see what uh, meals and food you can get in the restaurants and what drinks and prices etc so head over to the Facebook group join that and you'll be able to download any of those files As you can see in this part of the uh, coffee port, there's a selection of jigsaw puzzles that are on this table and table just beyond that, that yellow cow. Now these are free for you to uh, partake in. Uh, they're there all day for you. So if you fancy a coffee and a puzzle, this is a place for you to go to. Now on deck seven next to the coffee port is also the photo gallery. So any photo shoots you've had or any photographs you've been taking, there's some little monitors here. You can see there's on the right hand side. Log on to those and any pictures you've had taken or show up there. Well, 
welcome to the Squid and Anchor. This is your British style pub on deck seven. Now this is at the back of the uh, ship or the aft as it's also known as. And within the Squid and Anchor is also another a bar uh, which is called the Gin and Whiskey Bar. Now this bar is accessible to everybody but to get the drinks at this bar free of charge you have to be on the premium all-inclusive uh, drinks package if you're not there's a small additional charge for each drink also within the squid and anchor at the back there's the outside area for uh, ones who want rv cigarettes or smoking This is the gin and whiskey bar. Now they have a wide selection of gins and a wide selection of whiskies. We spent many uh, an evening here. We love this bar. Uh, the uh, entertainment was also really good in here and uh, it was a really good atmosphere. forget as well if you want to know about the next vlogs i'm releasing if you could press that like and subscribe button and any new vlogs i upload you'll get a notification of anything also this does me a huge favor as well because if i don't get any comments anybody subscribes to the channel or presses that thumbs up youtube won't put these vlogs out in front of you so i'll love you love you if you could press that thumbs up and that notification thank you very much Okay, this is the smoking area which is on deck seven and it's in the squid and anchor. So go f into the squid and anchor, go right to the back next to the gin and whiskey bar and you'll see a door. Go through the door and then your smoking area is at the back of the ship. A 
Okay, as mentioned before, this is day 10 of our uh, Tui Cruise and the port of call today is Valletta in Malta. Now, for this particular day, we'd pre-booked an excursion uh, going into our Tui navigation app uh, before we came on the cruise. Uh, we looked at quite a few different excursions on this and we thought that the one that offered us the best of Malta, because it, it was our first time uh, here, we wanted to see as much as we possibly could. We booked an excursion called the Total sorry the total the total Malta experience uh, and it was £47 each we paid for this one now all the excursions offered by TUI I've created uh, a little vlog on these and uploaded it to the YouTube channel and I've also taken screenshots of each excursion and uploaded those to the Facebook group which is called Cruise Travel and Explore so if you head off to the Facebook group you'll be able to see all the excursions at every port uh, and I've taken screenshots or if, if you prefer to watch the vlogs just go to the videos i've created on it and you'll see a list of all the excursions offered at each port thank you Isn't it my birthday yet? Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of it Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third And the rest of
you doing fine cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy
Now, you're going to see a little icon here, and I've put where the Morella uh, cruise ship is. Now, it's not too far away from the lift, so you could probably walk here in about 10 minutes. This lift here takes you the to the top of a letter. Now, I believe there's a price for this lift. We didn't need to get this because we did uh, an excursion, but I think it's one euro for the lift. I think it's one euro up, one euro down. But at least you can see where the cruise ship is, and it's not too far as well to walk. Now this was our first official stop off. This was the point where we got some free time. Well, I say free time, we only actually had 20 minutes. Uh, so there wasn't really enough time to go to the toilet or even go for a drink. We wish we would have spent uh, far more time here. Maybe 45 minutes to an hour would have given us time to walk around, go for a drink, go for a toilet break. But unfortunately, at this first point, you only have 20 minutes, so there's not much time to do anything. That was the only criticism we had at this point, but up until then, it was great.
I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are Coming up at the bottom is a wine bar and bistro. We popped in here and we had a drink. I think I had a glass of beer and Gem had a wine. It wasn't overly expensive. I think we paid about three euros each. Uh, we had around about 40 minutes here. So uh, I definitely recommend popping into that little bar and having a drink. It's lovely.
that walk in, it was time for a free course meal. This is where two Mirella cruisers took us for some food. Now we weren't overly happy to be honest. We weren't given an option of what we could have to eat. We had one main starter, so we had one starter, one mains, one dessert, but there wasn't any option. Uh, so if you were a vegan, vegetarian, or didn't like pork, you, uh, you couldn't have anything else. And I think a few people weren't happy about that. It would have been nice to have maybe two options of each. Uh, the starter was okay. It was pasta and sauce, which was quite filling to be honest. We got a lot. The main course was pork, which we're not a fan of pork, but we ate what we could. And the dessert was figs and a liqueur. Now they were absolutely amazing. They were fresh baked figs with a, a pastry on the outside and this liqueur dip. It was fantastic. We just wish we would have had more options to choose. Uh, but apart from that, this is the uh, the place that we went to. Now we're off to our final destination. We're off to the town of Mostar, to Mostar Rotunda Cathedral. I think that's how you pronounce it. Now, again, we once we got here and we were shown around by the uh, tour guide, we had free time. Well, again, I say free time. We were given five minutes of free time. So it wasn't enough time to go to a toilet or get a drink. We, again, we wish we would have had more time here. Now, our, our thoughts on the this particular excursion, and this is purely subjective. Uh, if we had a choice, we wouldn't go on this excursion again. It just wasn't for us. For somebody else, it might be ideal and perfect. We just thought there was a lot crammed into the excursion and we spent a lot of time in places where we wish we wouldn't. So, uh, one of the places that we did stop off uh, in Malta was for a toilet break and we spent 45 minutes queuing for a toilet. Now I know everybody needs to go to the toilet but you have to wait for everybody to go there. I think the problem that we have is with organised excursions we have a tour guide. You can only go as fast as the slowest person and really for us tour guides uh, on an excursion we prefer to do our own thing. Now some people absolutely love this excursion. For us we just wish we could have spent more time in the places we really wanted to do. Now that's our own fault because when we booked this excursion we knew we had a tour guide so it's nothing wrong with the excursion at all. It was just our personal preference that we wish we would have been able to do Malta on our own. But we did get to see a lot of amazing places, learn a lot about Malta and for some people this excursion will be absolutely perfect. The place that we went to it was stunning and beautiful. Uh, we just wish we would have had a little bit more free time but all in all 
we had an amazing day and uh, Malta is so beautiful. Thank you for watching don't forget to press the notification thumbs up and like and give me any comments or leave me any feedback it'd be most appreciated thank you love you about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see